In this tutorial, I will show you how to apply shadows on your animation. So, on this animation, I have two layers. I have a layer with the line, and I have a CTG layer with the colors. So, as I can't apply an FX stack on a CTG layer, I will duplicate this structure, and I will apply the effect on a separate layer, combining the effects for the shadow and another effect called image source. So let's first opening image source like this. And image source uh, works a little bit like a copy paste. Actually, you just define a source, and so you can apply a special effect on the separate layer and not on the original one. Here we are. And now let's apply stylize toon shading. And here is my toon shading. So I have uh, several possibilities. I can, for example, change the color. I can pick up a color of my choice. I can change the intensity. I can change the profile. And so I will affect the profile of the shadow. And I can also change like the size, the angle of the of the spread or of the ray count. But honestly, I think it's easier than to move directly the HUD. As any other effect, I have the possibility to use keys in order to make an interpolation to move the shadow. But here, I don't need it, so I delete the key. If I apply my FX tag just like this, the problem is um, I will apply the shadow and the color at the same time. Just show you on the current image. So I just apply on the current layer on the selection, so it means on the first image. And to show you the result, you see we have the color and the shadow. And that's quite problematic because if I need to change the shadow, like its color, or if I need to apply a texture on it, well, that can be quite annoying. So I will cancel the application, and this time I will tick the box shadow only just here. And then it means I will apply only the shadow and not the image source. Much better. When you have created an FX stack and you think you will need it in another project, you have the possibility to export the FX tag. To do so, just click on Preset and click on Export, and it will create a bin that you may use in other FX tag. So for example, if in another project I need the same configuration, I can open the new file, click on Preset, and click on Import and importing the FX tag I have just exported. Um, I will show you an example with another way to spread shadow. I will use drop shadow. It means the shadow that is behind the character. So I will duplicate the structure again. At this time, I will put this one under the colors. And so let's now click on preset and let's click on import. And I will use drop shadow, ombre portée in French. <laughs> And here we are. So it has deleted my other FX tag. So actually, I'm still using image source, but I don't have the tune shading anymore. But the effect drop shadow that can be found into stylize drop shadow. So just like the other effect, you can change the color and angle and other stuff. You can even play directly with the HUD. You can also play on the opacity. And you can also play with a smooth, just like a blur. But now let's imagine I would like to put the shadow not directly behind the character, but on the ground. I will require a new effect called Distortion Perspective 4 Points, like this. So I have many points that I may change like this. And here again, we have the same problem, the same just before with the tune shading. The problem is that I haven't tick shadow only box just here. And now I can apply 
the perspective without any color. Let's apply. Lower a little with the opacity and enjoy it. 